I Rose Like a Rocket by Paul Grandal. This book is about the United States' most flamboyant and beloved presidents, Theodore Roosevelt. And they don't come much more flamboyant than him. Now, Teddy here wrote, learned politics from his father's knee, as it were, and went on all the way to become president. Now, he developed this uh, practical politics after his first session as an assemblyman from New York. It didn't go well for him that first season. However, he did make a name for himself as a fighter. His incessant cries, Mr. Speaker! Mr. Speaker! In a very high-pitched, I can't do it. Too much smoking, you know. And I don't have the New York accent, so you know, it's quite impossible for me to really mimic him as, as uh, faithfully as possible. But as, he's a small fellow, only five foot eight, rather on the scrawny side, and yet he stood up and refused to be cowed. And that's Teddy Roosevelt. Although his figure may have resembled a teddy bear towards the end of his life, at this point he was a runt. A runt, a runt, a runt. A very rich runt indeed, but still a runt. So, practical politics. In political terms, Mr. Roosevelt was one of those innocuous sort of viruses that gets into you and lies dormant for a time, even while it's slowly eating you away from the inside. For he was a reformer, and he was dedicated to the destruction of the corruption that he saw in government. And he's not about to let anybody deter him from that path. Now, he entered politics during Boss Tweed and Tammany Hall. And there's no need to tell you how corrupt that was. Buying judges, I mean, it's as bad as mafia during the Prohibition, for heaven's sakes. Death, beating up, and bribing left, right, and center. Ridiculous behavior. With his heart and mind bent on reformation for the good of all Americans, he was not going to be stopped. Oh yes, flamboyant, courageous from the start, he never backed down from a fight. And while his uh, trajectory may have been rather Byzantine from time to time, he never lost sight of this goal. Now, from a pipsqueak, he grew into a giant. And Paul Grandel is a political journalist and author with an in-depth knowledge of New York politics and the politics of New York City. Now, this book is so well written. It actually captures the personality of Theodore Roosevelt. It is a joy to read. It makes you laugh. It makes you be flaming angry. But still, the energy and the total dedication to reform comes through loud and clear. I highly recommend this book for anyone who needs an anecdote. And palliative to our current situation. Thank you for watching and please come again. Thank you.